So the first thing we need to do is install Xcode. You can use the Mac App Store to install that. Just type in Xcode. I already have it installed, um, so where it says installed, it would just say install. Just click and let it do its thing. After Xcode is installed, you're going to need to install the command line tools. This is very important. It won't work without it. So you go to preferences, downloads, see this command line tools right here. Uh, just click install and let it do its thing. Next thing you'll need is exports. Uh, let's go to exports.macosforge.org, download it. You also need to download Mac ports. These are both just normal, like, you know, double click to install type things. Next, configure Mac ports. I have a paste bin here with all this stuff in here, so just open a terminal window and copy and paste all this stuff in. You'll need a spacebar to the end of the Xcode license, and eventually you'll type agree. Uh, add these to your path and also your man path. This is uh, for Mac ports. Uh, this little guy uh, just tells Mac ports if you're 64 bit or not. If yes, it'll just say plus universal there. These two commands are uh, for dbus, which I already have dbus running and loaded. If at some point you get an error message that dbus is not running, just go back and uh, do those two commands. Next we need to install wine, simple sudo port install wine command in terminal. It'll take a while, so you might want to do that one uh, when you have some time. After that, just do uh, wine tricks, so sudo port install wine tricks, and that will install wine tricks for you. Finally, we're going to install Ultima Online and also Assist UO if you need that. Um, so just uh, the, fir the first and the most important thing here is you need to tell Wine that you're running a 32-bit architecture. Um, you need to do this on a clean Wine prefix, so before you do anything else, uh, you'll be able to tell if you're doing it right when you go into Wine CFG. Uh, if it says created the configuration directory, that means you didn't have one before, so you're good to go. And then you'll want to do this as well, just uh, go to the graphics tab here and un uncheck the allow the window manager to decorate the windows. Uh, that'll make the UO window show you your regions and stuff. Next thing you need to do is install the Visual C Runtime 2010 using Wine Tricks. So type in Wine Tricks VC Run 210 and it will uh, go ahead and load it up for you. Uh, so you click install. When that's done, uh, you're pretty much good to go. You don't need to install any .NET stuff. So Mono is good enough for us for this uh, project. So just change directory to wherever you have these files. Uh, I put them on the desktop in a folder called install UO. They'll probably be in your downloads folder um, if you didn't move them. Then just type uh, wine and the uh, UO installer. I'm installing uh, client 7.0.15.1, uh, which I included a link to. It's not You can install whatever, whatever client you want. This is the one that I found that works the best for UO forever. Uh, but if your server of choice uses a different client, feel free to use that one. Okay, we're almost done with this. Just hit accept. Um, just tell it to install in the default location is fine. It'll think it's installing to the C drive. It's actually installing it to the uh, wine folder. And you don't need a desktop shortcut, obviously. So the next thing we're going to run is the assist UO. I just downloaded the latest version, um, which should install pretty quickly. It too is a uh, find it install in the default location. Um, I accidentally looked at the readme here. You can just close this. I was also going to put some stuff on your uh, Mac desktop. You can just delete those files. Now I'm going to uh, change directory into my wine folder dot wine slash drive c slash program files. 
in case you're wondering how fast why well, I can type so fast I'm using uh, tab completion here then you're gonna want to change the permissions on uh, all the stuff you just installed make sure you can run it then go into the sysuo folder and start sysuo just using wine um, then we're gonna need to change the client here so click on the little dots navigate into the folder of choice here I installed the default location so there it is the client and then you're also gonna need to tell it um, where the folder is so just go to the folder there hit OK and you can either go to one of the uh, built-in shards or just type in whatever shard uh, you choose to connect to and hit start and it'll start up you obviously want to uh, negotiate features with the server if that's required otherwise you'll get booted and it should be good to go um, one extra thing to say if you want to make a shortcut um, this is also included in the paste bin just open up Apple Script Editor and uh, paste that in. You can click around to make sure it works. Uh, obviously, you don't need to change it if you uh, did something in any different directories. Then go to Save. Um, you can save it wherever, name it whatever, but make sure you save it as an application. And then hit Save. And then you can close all this stuff down. And when you double click on it, it will open a terminal window that you can't see and uh, run SysUO. So I'll see you in game.